Good morning, everybody. It's COVID, day seven. It is March 24th. This is week two, the second day. It is day seven of uh, our shutdown. So we're going to do a quick set of announcements. Then we're going to review part one of the Rubik's Cube Challenge. Then we're going to introduce a new concept called surface area for everybody today. Uh, most people got the announcement yesterday that school is going to be 100% online through May 1st. That means through Friday, if we come back to school, it'll be the following Monday, which would be Monday, May 4th, okay? Uh, so we're not gonna see each other for a long time. We're gonna be practicing social distancing, uh, but school's gonna go on, you know? We're gonna keep doing this online. I'm gonna keep posting videos. We're gonna have some live classes announced soon. Um, so just like we've been doing for the last seven days, we're going to keep this up through at a bare minimum May 1st. The big announcement really from yesterday is that uh, LA Unified is going to provide laptops and devices for every student who needs it. So from now through May 1st, and it might go even longer than that, um, every student is going to be able to access teaching online so that you guys can continue to take ownership of your learning. So on Thursday, we're gonna do the first set of distribution of devices. So if you're having to use a phone right now to access this content and you wanna get on a laptop so you have more of the tools that you need to keep up with your learning, please go to school on Thursday from 11.30 to 1.30. Get a computer. Um, you know, there will be other days that uh, we can distribute laptops to you. But um, this Thursday is the first time since this shutdown started that you can go back and pick up a laptop. So if you need a better device to work on than what you've got at home, please go to school this Thursday. Uh, also, free Wi-Fi. So Spectrum is offering free internet access for folks for the next 60 days. Uh, there's a phone number on the screen, 844-488-8395. It's also posted in Google Classroom, all of this information. So if these slides are going a little too fast, you can pick up stuff or you can go to Google Classroom and you can see this announcement. It's gonna be pinned at the top of your Google Classroom stream. But get a laptop, get free Wi-Fi so you have access to everything you need uh, and we can start doing more fun stuff because everybody's got a good device to access um, they're learning from. And we're going to do this for all classes, not just math, right? Ms. Con Mr. Contreras, Ms. Rodriguez, they're going to come with a bunch of online assignments pretty soon too. Don't forget, every day, Monday through Friday, there's food pickup at school, two meals a day per person, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Uh, one of these days, I'll be out there too. So hope to see you guys shoot through, pick up some food, Take the stress off your parents. These are pre-made meals. You don't have to clean any dishes. You don't have to go to the store and fight through the coronavirus and shortages to get what you need. These are pre-made lunches. Go get them. So <clears throat> I got this amazing video sent to me by someone in the seventh grade. This person solved the Rubik's Cube in a minute and 18 seconds. This person has been doing this since the fourth grade. This person can run a marathon in five hours and nine seconds. In the exit ticket today, write down your best guess for who this person is. And it is, it is an extremely talented seventh grade student here in your class. And uh, if you're, a subscriber to my YouTube channel and you're reading the comments, there's a hint hanging out there in YouTube, but this is the first question in your exit ticket. And i um, curious where I want to see if you guys know who this person is in your seventh grade class, because this kind of skill, this kind of amazing talent um, is representative of, you know, who you guys are. You guys have a ton of talent little things that I don't even know about that you guys know about. Um, that's pretty cool and amazing. So if you've got other amazing talents, 
feel free to send me little videos. Love to display them. Bam, look at that. This person's like, boom, done. One minute and 18 seconds. That's amazing. I wanna see if you know who this person is. So, it's a good little segue into our Rubik's Cube challenge. Yesterday, uh, I put it out there that, you know, I've got a Rubik's Cube. It's got a height, a width, and a depth of 1.5 inches, right? So let me get my little pen going here. Draw, format, big thick line, yeah. All right, here we go. So um, here's my Rubik's Cube. It's got three dimensions, right? Width, here's the width, right? That's measuring it this way. It's got a height of 1.5, that's measuring going up. And then there's a depth going back and forwards of 1.5. It's a perfect cube, so all the sides are the same measure, measurement, 1.5 inches, 1.5 inches, 1.5 inches. And I asked you, what is the volume of this cube? So how do you figure that out? Well, here are the answers that we got back and I wanna highlight a couple of them for you guys. So there were 29 responses uh, yesterday when I pulled this. I think right now we're bad, we're up to like more like 48 responses or something like that, um, which is good. You guys are about half the classes responding to these exit tickets, really excited about that. Anyways, here's what I wanna highlight. Nine people said the answer is 3.375 inches cubed. And then more people, 12, said that the answer is 4.5 inches cubed, okay? So two big sets of answers. A bunch of people said, the volume of the cube is 3.375 inches cubed. And then a bunch of people said 4.5 inches cubed, um, which is the right one. Let's figure this out. Moving on to the next slide. Slide, there we go. So shout out to the nine people who yesterday when we entered this in, uh, or yesterday when I pulled the data, uh, recognize that volume is multiplicative. Volume is multiplicative. Let's see if I can fit this in. Mal to plicative. Well, that wasn't very good. Anyways, you multiply to get volume. You multiply the width times the height times the depth. You take the three dimensions and you multiply them together. So length, width, height. Multiply those three measurements together. Remember, volume is a three-dimensional measurement. So you multiply three dimensions, length, width, and height. 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5 gets you 3.375 inches cubed, cubic inches right here. That little three means cubic. You could have also measured the area of the square and then multiplied it by the height. You would have gotten the same thing. 1.5 times 1.5 would be the area of just one of the faces of this Rubik's Cube. And then you multiplied it by the height. That was the answer to the first question in yesterday's exit ticket. 